Good morning. Today let's see how to work with Redux Saga. We have an application where we can create new nodes, add node, add another node, save them to the backend, then we get an alert, OK. And then if we reload the page and press load, we will get the saved nodes back. Yesterday we wrote the side effects logic using thanks. Today let's rewrite it using Redux Saga. In our app we have an interface to create new nodes. New node input contains an input and a button and triggers the on add node event. And also we have two buttons on save and on load that dispatch save nodes and load nodes thunks. If we go to nodes reducer, you will see that uh, thunk, in our case save nodes or load nodes, is a kind of an action creator, but instead of creating an object with the uh, field type and payload, it creates an asynchronous function that is executed when the thunk is triggered. So when we dispatch the save nodes thunk, it returns an async function. This function gets into the thunk middleware and thunk middleware sees that it's a function, executes it and we perform our logic. We get the nodes list from the state and then we perform post request using the fetch API to our local backend. Let me know in the comments if you want to know how did I write the simple JSON backend for this application. If everything goes fine, then we alert success. On load nodes, we also create a function, pass it through the dispatch method, thunk middleware gets it and triggers, and then we get the nodes list from our local server, write it to the nodes constant, and dispatch a new action, that is set nodes. Set nodes gets the action payload and writes it to the nodes field of our state. Now let's rewrite the same logic into sagas. First, install Redux Saga. Yarn add Redux Saga. After it's done, let's remove our thanks. Then go to store. Remove thunk middleware. Import create saga middleware from Redux Saga. Define a new const saga middleware equals and here we call create saga middleware we pass this saga middleware to apply middleware saga middleware and then we need this saga middleware to run the root saga that we will create in a moment saga middleware run root saga let's create this root saga now create a new file root saga.js now inside of it export generator function this is a function with an asterisk called root saga in javascript and generator functions you can use the word yield it works somewhat like return but return completely halts the function execution and returns the result yield works more like pause it allows you to pause the execution you can also return the value from the function at this stage but as the function is just paused and not stopped you can get the value back if you want to and continue the execution so we write yield and here we call fork it's an effect from saga that is used to launch new independent sagas and here we'll fork the nodes saga the nodes saga will be responsible for the side effects relevant for the nodes reducer import fork from redux saga effects and now let's define the nodes saga create a new file nodes saga.js here we export a function that is also a generator function. Let's call it fetch nodes watcher. Actually, let's rename this node saga to load nodes nodes saga. And this watcher we will rename to load nodes watcher. Inside of it, we're gonna listen to load nodes action using a saga effect and yield statement. Yield take latest. So we will react to the latest load nodes action. Load nodes. And here we will perform a function load nodes flow. Let's define it. It will also be a generator function. Function asterisk load nodes flow. Let's import the take latest. Import take latest from Redux Saga effects. And let's define a load nodes action. Load nodes load nodes. While we are here, we can also define the save nodes. Save nodes. Let's define the action creators. Our save nodes action creator will also accept the list of nodes. 
but it will have the type save notes also let's create load notes it won't have any arguments and it won't have any payload let's get back to the load node saga import load nodes from actions now sagas are based on generators so you cannot use a sync await syntax there instead of it you use a combination of sagas effects like to perform a network request we will use yield call but to do this we will also have to create an api module create a new file api.js expert const get nodes equals a function this function is asynchronous and we return fetch http localhost 4000 then response response json and that's it let's also define the post method expert const post nodes async nodes here we need to pass uh, an options object with method post headers an object with the field content type application json and accept header also application json and then we pass the body the body is json stringify nodes let's get back to the load node saga now inside of the load nodes flow we can call yield call that we import from the saga effects we pass the get nodes to the call and we will store the result of this call so nodes equals yield call get nodes now we can dispatch a new action from this saga with the nodes that we got from the backend so we call yield put imported from redux saga set nodes nodes okay we have the loading flow now go to root saga import load nodes watcher from load node saga fork the load nodes watcher and now let's define the save nodes watcher yield fork save nodes watcher we will import it from the save node saga and let's define the new saga save nodes saga.js we can copy the contents of the load node saga paste it here instead of load nodes we will use the save nodes action and we don't need the set nodes action creator so here we will react on the latest dispatch of the save nodes action we need to rename the load to save here as well and when it happens we need to get the nodes and send them to the backend let's remove the old code here we will get the reference to the action and the current value of the nodes array will be in the action payload inside of the save nodes flow we call yield call post nodes action payload let's remove the get nodes and put oh sorry when you use the call effect you need to pass the function and then the argument to it instead of just calling the function go to store import root saga from root saga now let's go to app.js remove the save notes and load notes action creators from the notes reducer now we will need to import them from actions save notes and load notes and when we call save notes action creator we need to pass the current value of notes to it let's go to the browser add some note save them now reload the page press load and it works thank you for watching this video if you want to pick the next topics then join my discord server the link is in the description and do it in the video ideas channel see you next time